Hi, Paul Sackis, Good News Broadcast, speaking to Susan Hassler. Hi, Susan, how are you? Hi, fine, thanks. Good to talk to you, Paul. Good speaking with you, Editor-in-Chief of IEEE Spectrum Magazine. Okay, let's first start. What is IEEE? Well, it's um, the acronym was originally for um, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Okay. Um, it's a, a, an organization that can trace its roots back to Alexander Graham Bell, which is why it's celebrating its 125th anniversary. Yay, congratulations. And uh, Thomas Edison was also uh, part of this um, organization at one point. We'd be living and in the dark without those people. <laughs> no, I, that's right. And, and so... Um, the, um, and it's uh, now, at this point in time, though, it's an organization that's about, uh, got about 380,000 members. Um, it's international, and it's really gone beyond electrical engineering, which at one point was very important, uh, obviously is extremely important, but, I, but it, now it's branched out, so it's dealing with nanotechnology, it's dealing with material science. And so the members are doing everything from video games to, um, you know, moonshots. Uh huh. You know, you have here. <laughs> you have. Uh, there's a trivia game here that you s have sent over here. There was one where I, I just remember seeing something about video games. Uh, where was that video game question? It's just to see how where our audience is here. Oh, here it is. No, that's the first. Well, yeah. What year did the first? This isn't a video game. Home computer games appear. Oh, yeah, that's good. In what year did the... F do you mind if I uh, uh, share this? No, go ahead. No, uh, yeah. In what year did the first home computer games appear? Home computer. Now, 1958, 63, 74, and 1980. And the answer is 1974. Okay. But this next one was pretty wild. How small is the world's smallest radio? The size of a marble, the size of a golf ball, the size of a tennis ball. And the answer is the size of a marble. <laughs> So how, all right, electrical engineers, there must be an electrical engineer with very small hands. How did, how, how did they make something like that? And, and tell us well, what is an electrical... You know? yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you do those things? I have no idea. How do they do well, those things? Well, these things are done now in these very, very sophisticated, you know, factories with clean rooms and stuff. And, and you know, originally, it's, it's very interesting because if the original um, microchips and uh, were, were so... Uh, big in a way that the that um, engineers who were working on them could actually sign them. You could have, you see, you could have there's actually there's a there's chip graffiti uh, for the earliest my, uh, people. You know, kind of like you know, Al was here. Or, you know, <laughs> Betty made this, but now these chips have so many things on them, uh -huh. and, and they're so tiny um, that it's all done with. I once made a show when I was with a, uh, Channel 13 here in New York, the PBS station, and we went to Japan, and it was we made two shows. One was called Living in the Future, and one was Working in the Future. And we went to Scuba World Science Fair. I love science. I love what engineers do. It's miraculous, the things that they do. And over there in Japan, they had a whole pavilion for a guy named Jack Killian, who invented the IC with Texas Instrument, the integrated right, chip. Jack Kilby, right, yeah. And he's a hero <laughs> in Japan because most, many of their industries then resulted from computerization. Sure. sure. Here, well, there nobody knows his name. <laughs> well, that, well you, you have right. I mean, unless you're inside, right, you know, to understand that he was really, that, well, how important he was to doing this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. There is a kind of a different culture that you would kind of, it would be interesting if such a culture were ever to develop here in the United States because in Asia, um, people like Kilby and, and to tell you the truth, people like Bill Gates mm -hmm. are, and so instead of having, I don't know, um, posters of the Jonas Brothers, <laughs> 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 yeah. people from, um, you know, young men from Asia have, you know, posters of Bill Gates or Jack Kilby or <laughs> other things, and you just wonder what would be different here if that were the case. Well, you have a lot of, t well, tell us about your, the magazine and uh, some of the kinds of things and how people can get more involved with your organization. Sure. Um, so the IEEE is, is celebrating its 125th anniversary, and um, and if you go to that website, we, we're talking about www.ieee125.org, you can kind of get a feeling for the kinds of things that they're doing in this anniversary year. But um, the IEEE itself, um, if you're interested in technology and engineering, um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a professional organization, so... You can't just have kind of a hobby interest. 
but if you have any kind of uh, kind of related work interest in this stuff, it, it's very, you, it's quite possible just to become a member, and then you can you know there, the, the IEEE has 800 conferences a year. They have 130 professional journals. Spectrum is their kind of flagship magazine, and uh, which has been around for about 45 years now, and and we do the stuff that's kind of made more um, available to the public. So if people were interested in learning about technology without feeling like they had to go back to school, um, Spectrum would be a pretty good place to start. So on the website, which I'm looking at, which is nicely done, special events online and across the globe. So what are some kinds of things that would be on here? Well, what uh, various IEEE sections and chapters and uh, in all corners of the world are having their own kind of celebrations. And what they're doing in some instances is I think they're they're uh, uh, they've been they're talking to some of the legends, or they're bringing them out to sort of celebrate their achievements. And so some of the great and the good from inside the uh, engineering community are being feted. But the IEEE is also um, working, really uh, having I think a lot of events that are involved with. How can we um, fix things going forward? You know, how can we um, how can we develop technologies that will solve some of the problems that, frankly, technology has created? How can we um, think about creating a better quality of life for uh, many people, uh, not just a few? Well, a lot of times, these are like, as you say, you know, these are behind the scenes kinds of people, right? In and most and the career of into itself is as well, but without it, we wouldn't have a bridge to probably go over. <laughs> right. No. And, and a lot of these people are are very passionate, and it's also about making things. I mean, uh, many people in this org. It's about uh, thinking about things, but it's also sometimes people think that engineering is just about like math, or I don't know. I, I mean, I I, re I meet people who don't understand exactly what engineering is, but engineering is also about problem solving. It's about thinking about, looking at problems and thinking about ways to solve them, uh, which often includes making things. You know, one thing that I think is happening, and I'm in this green uh, building, actually. It's very packed with architect, green architects. It's a green spaces, sustainable businesses, and so on and so forth. I wonder, is that uh, opening up more careers and more interest in, you know, coming up with different ways that uh, we can live now in the, in the engineering slash, uh, you know, architectural ways? Yes, I do, I do think that. And I think that um, it's, it's actually drawing... Uh, students in who might otherwise have said that they're that uh, engineering is not for me. I mean, I think it's creating. There is a whole kind of um, uh, sort of economic engine that is driving um, the searches for green technology. Mm -hmm. So people are finding careers, but I think they're also finding that it's an opportunity to sort of um, help make things better. Uh, and, and, and so uh, we've, I believe we've seen a lot of movement um, towards green technologies. And so how did you get into green building? Oh, because I'm very green, and I have been for 50-plus years. And uh, we do uh, we help create the United Nations uh, International Decade of Water. I've done Earth Day events, the, the May, on the Equinox Day, the original day, on the 22nd, on the World Earth Day, I did a concert on the 1990. I've been very involved, I started Nature Series on PBS. I'm very involved with the, the nature and the environment. I was a Boy Scout, and the Boy Scouts, that's what they teach you. <laughs> well, that's, you know, it's right. I mean, people make jokes about it, but that's exactly right. And 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 then now the beautiful news is that the DNA has proven that we're all in this together. The tree is our cousin, has <laughs> the same DNA, and so do plants and animals. A lot of interesting new science coming out here. You know what I like here? That here's here's an interesting thing. So so IEE, the world's largest technical uh, professional association. Here's a. Gather. These are the ways that you could encourage for the 125th anniversary. Can I read some of these? Sure. Okay. Because sure. I know as the owner of my company here, without uh, my IT person, maybe you guys got another interview. You got a second? Uh, yeah. Uh, if we if we could let her, if you could wrap up because we have another okay. interview like now. So. Got it. Okay. I'm going to wrap up here. Gather your colleagues and recognize your office IT person. Okay. That alone 
Without that IT person, the business shuts down. Okay, Susan, thank you very much. Last question, what's good news for you? Good news for me is I think that um, people who are working in technology now are really going to try to uh, make a difference in terms of improving things. So um, I'm, I'm very encouraged by that. Okay, thank you very much for sharing, and congratulations to you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. Bye now.